And it is event, an event in which we are very proud to be able to put on to celebrate the achievements and the accomplishments of the movement in the previous year. Well, unfortunately, due to circumstances outside of our control and the worldwide situation of this coronavirus, the, uh, the gala was postponed and we will be having it later in the year. But um, we had a number of very special speakers one of which an individual with whom I became friends with um, was going to speak about his experiences with the Hope Rocks movement. That individual died last night of an overdose. And it was not, it was not out of, out of anything that he could control. As a matter of fact, it's an insight to how hideous and horrible this disease is. And I remember the days leading up to the, the, the gala, talking to him and how excited he was about having this opportunity and inviting his family and who was going to be speaking. And we had one of our speakers was the Ulster County Executive and he was just blown away that, the, that he would be speaking with somebody of such high political value or high political standing. And I remember having the discussions about, you know, what do I wear? What is this? You know, how, what, how much can I say? What do you want me to say? And I said, Jordan, be you. Be you. Because you can't be anybody else. That's what we all have to be. We have to be ourself. We've got enough, we are enough. And you could just feel him relax. And I remember him a couple days before, I don't know if I can make it. And you know, this is something that you come to expect because confidence and, and self-esteem and, and the ability to speak in public having been humiliated your entire life by your addiction and the stigma that goes with it. I, I, I truly expected that that's what that would be. And he said, I don't have anything to wear. I said, Jordan, we uh, will take care of that. That's the least of our worries. And so when I called him the night before and told him that we had to postpone, you could hear and feel the great disappointment because he was ready to shine. He was ready to rise up and show the world, but more importantly, show himself how worthwhile he is. Because as much as we regard him, 
and his family and his friends and all those that were touched by him regard him inside it was not there but it was building 